Hi guys, welcome to Let Loose with Lou. I have my co-host Melon. Hey y'all. Hi, hey. And my OG, we got Tuna in the house. And <laughs> woo woo. And yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> he's all uh uh. <laughs> and we have Chris. Yay, our guest Chris back. And you know what, guys? He is gonna let loose with Lou, Malone, and Tuna today. Oh, that's what I'm talking about. That's what we like, right? <coughs> I know. So what's going on, Malone? How have you been? Oh, I've been wonderful. Oh. Um, about to go out of town again. As again? Usual. God, yeah. That's all this girl does is go out of yeah. town. Uh, Shit. Yeah, we're going to go to the Chicago and Texas game. It's going to be a Chicago takeover in Texas and Houston. Yeah. Ooh, yeehaw. Are you going to go ahead and save a horse and ride a cowboy? All day. Ooh. Mm-hmm. <laughs> right? <laughs> What I do. Ooh, girl. <laughs> <laughs> She's so funny. Oh my, yeah, so. You make me laugh. What's going on? What, are, what is our topic today? Um, Our topic is let loose with Lou. Ooh. So. <laughs> that's a topic. Freestyling. Freestyling. Freestyle. Freestyle. I love that. That's, so, that's you know, definitely letting loose with Lou. And I love to freestyle. You know how I am. When I first started this podcast, I'm like, you know what? I want to like, just like be free, like talk about everything and, you know, just get in there, get raw sometimes, you know, get it, you know, educated sometimes. I love all that. So, you know, I was like today, I'm like, well, you know what? We're going to kind of let loose. What do you guys think? I'm down. All right. Yeah, let's do it. Well, for since it. we're getting ready to let loose, let me go on and get started what I want to hear. Oh, um, she's great, great. For <laughs> you guys, from you guys, oh, oh, <clears throat> in regards to a subject, a topic, I was speaking to some guys. Um, so it's a man's perspective. Of correct. Okay. All right. So you all know, um, you men go on boys trips, right? You go on boys trips. You guys go out and have a good time on whatever the boys trip is. Well, <clears throat> the question has been aris- has has arise arisen arise <laughs> has risen has risen from <laughs> women um, in regards to this these trips that you guys go on. Because we took a look, a gander at Brokeback Mountain. <laughs> and so since we have looked at Brokeback Mountain. I see where we, this is going. Well, I, I'm, <laughs> so I, I, need a, I need to ask you guys, and I need you to be honest. When you guys go on these trips with boys, do you guys... <laughs> <laughs> Wait, the are, 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 Chris. Hey, we're not like girls. We don't just like get naked and drunk and start making right out now? with each other. Like, oh! we don't do that. Are you sure? Yeah, positive. What, what happened? Yeah. He said they get you know, naked girls, and like, they start looking. At yeah, you know, I like some girls that are friends are always like, oh, oh, you're so cute. Well, you, they start making out with each other and shit. Oh yeah, yeah. Like, so okay. you mean we to don't tell do me that. the guys don't do that? No, we don't. No. Like make out and do all that stuff. You guys, I okay. don't. <laughs> Okay, so uh, yeah, you guys. Yeah, you just no. said you don't either, so Hell we're no. good. Okay, then but, we don't have to go any further on that. We'll go on the second part. Well, of wait, wait, that's no fun. Wait, wait, yeah, wait. Yeah, yeah, let let's, me let's, ask. I mean, that is we don't have anything to say okay. about okay, it. I'll no, give no, you an no. example. Yeah, hold I'll on. give you an example. Okay. okay. So me, you know, me and my friends, <laughs> uh, after we all got out of the military, we served together. We did deployments together. And every year since after we got out, mm-hmm. we do our guys trip. Mm-hmm. But our guys trip literally involves us going to a national park and hiking for about a week. And we're talking like 30 miles, 20 miles. 40 miles wow. living in a tent staying in a sleeping bag like literally doing what we were doing when we were in the marine corps so it's literally being miserable for a week that's how we enjoy <laughs> and bond. our time and bond yeah, yeah and we just get drunk and so I stop with the drunk <clears throat> so when you get drunk none of you guys ever like kind of t- touch you or <laughs> I, hug you i've had experiences hey, You've had experience? had experience. Well, okay. I mean, let's talk about them, Chris. Talk about it. Wait, wait, wait. Talk about it. Tell me more. Okay. Tell me so, more. I'm a civilian. Yeah. Okay? I'm not. Yeah. A, I'm not a you know veteran or in military, but I used to hang out with a lot of guys. And when you, certain people drink, they do some crazy shit. Mm-hmm. Right. Know? And um, I was trying to help a guy, and I don't. I don't name names, but um, what, what do you mean by, by what, help? like he was a drinker? <laughs> You Different. Help. So you were helping him drink? No, no, just trying to like lifting the bottle. No, just help, like Monitoring. maybe gu- guiding him to mm-hmm. oh, get okay. off the bottle. Got yeah, got you, you. Oh, got okay, you. Okay, Are you actually yeah. being a good person? I was trying to be. Yeah, okay. <laughs> okay. All right. I try. You know what I mean? I mean, I yeah. try to look out for my brothers, and then I, I, so I liked him when we did. He didn't drink, and we hung out. So um, we went out one time, and just the guy was off off the Richter, and. Uh, 
I guess he just liked to take his clothes off. <laughs> <laughs> and um, I was like, ended up being alone with the guy. Oh, and I had it. heard stories uh -huh. about the guy, oh, and wow. he was just one of those guys that would do it, take take his clothes off and then just start swinging his. Wow, Willie Dinger. He, he was a, he was a, huh? Like swinging his dick around? Yeah, he was like, he was a, he wasn't a grower. He wasn't a grower. He was a shower. Oh, gotcha, gotcha. so it was all out in the open, yeah, and yeah. we just all let it go, you know. And yeah, it's, yeah. It's comical, yeah, and I mean, I, I love the guy. Yeah, and, but you love that's, him now, huh? What happened? I mean, he pulled it out. Oh, what did just, you do? I just got away as fast as I could. Well, see, or as far, I mean, I distanced myself. I'm so like, I think, you know. yeah. And I think like men are different than us women. Like us women, like, you That's know, not attractive to me. Yeah. So like it's women. It's funny. It, it is funny. Cause when I used to. I mean. Yeah. When I used to hang out with all the guys my, like years ago. Yeah. Like there was one that would always get drunk and he would do the same thing. He would like rip off his clothes and start running around. And that was it's like, he would pee in like every little corner of anywhere, you know, and it was. Not going to lie. I used to be the naked guy. But <laughs> <laughs> See, that's awesome. That's awesome, right? Off. So I was you pulled your guy. clothes off in front of. I would, I would like fucking. Uh, I would just get drunk, and then we'd be. Let's say, I don't know. Let's say we have a pool. Yeah. And I would get on the top of the roof, oh. and my boxers on, yeah. take all my yeah. clothes off, just leave my boxers on though. I oh, wouldn't no. go full. Fuck I wouldn't go like full swinging dick, <laughs> but I would still, you know, rip my clothes off and do stupid shit. But oh kind of got all yeah, out of my so. system. Yeah, now. and girls, you know, it's girls that's like funny. will flash tits or whatever, like you know, like. Here and there. But it's like, sexy when you girls do it. Like a but, guy's body, a guy's body is not as attractive yeah. as well, Okay, but I, to I'll us it that. is. But I'll, to us it is. You think so? I think uh, even girls think that girl bodies are better looking <laughs> okay, than Okay, you bodies. just said you wanted the V. <laughs> Why? Yeah. Because it's well, attractive. That's a stomach. Stuff. Yeah, yeah, but that's like attractive abs, to you know? a woman to, for seeing a, a, well, a V yeah. shape in a man. I guess so. But if you're looking at like the woman's body, I think it's a beautiful thing. Like I, I, I just admire. The female women. anatomy is far more attractive than yes. a penis. I agree with that. Okay, but in our eyes, I mean, it's yeah. Different. For you guys, it's what do you think? Okay, if you look at a like, so they say somebody sends you a dick pic, <laughs> boom, bam, dick, big old dick. <laughs> but what's yeah. the first thing that goes through your okay. head if just some random person sends so, you a dick pic? Can I like be honest here? No. I've never had a dick pic <laughs> sent to me. Well, you better get audience someone involved in that. Have, have your <laughs> no, I'm sure you'll get an unwanted pic. No, you know? no, that's so, you know what? Soon. It's really that's. Not, so I have friends. I mean, it's kind of cool, like, but I not. Have, <laughs> no. Yeah, I think it's creepy. If some yeah. random person just sent. Yeah. Oh yeah, absolutely. but you know what I mean? Like you look like at a penis, dick. like it I looks mean, ugly. <laughs> like for me, like a dick looks ugly, but a vagina. Okay, is like, it depends. Is it a helmet? Helmet or non-helmet? Oh my god, yeah, that's true. I mean, if you just haven't seen some ugly. Yeah, well, you know, it's the opinion of a male. And Google blue waffle. Well, it's funny that you guys are. Google Blue Waffle. Oh, gross. <laughs> it's funny that you bring gross. that up because I've had that. Had you that had a blue, blue waffle? waffle? No, no, no. What? No, not this topic. Not oh. a blue waffle. Oh. See, I'm, I'm, I'm in my head already. I'm not thinking. I'm not listening. Don't, don't, don't Google that, Simon. I'm not. <laughs> warning. Yeah, warning. <laughs> not safe for work. Yeah. <laughs> Solomon, don't Google that. Don't Google that one, Solomon, but. okay? <laughs> oh, man. So, okay. Yeah. So, but you know, like in the movie Brokeback Mountain, the guy wasn't gay. I don't know if you've seen the movie or not. He wasn't gay, allegedly. I'm going to say, I mean. Uh, and the other was guy gay. was. Yeah. And so we go on the mountain going, uh, allegedly watching these herds or whatever. And then it goes into where they end up going after they got busy. The guy got drunk and he came and it was cold. They were warming up to each other. They were just warming up to each other. And then the next thing you know, dude was up there getting busy. Well, he felt that that he wasn't gay because he was doing the guy. So, you know, some men think that. I mean, if you did a guy, would you consider yourself gay? That's gay as hell. I mean, there's just you're doing a guy, you know what I mean? That's that's just gay. So I mean, I think, think? the guy the guy was probably oh. already gay and he just needed the gay guy to kind of yep. help him, you know, fool uh, fool send. But see, is yeah. it really and he full was married send? with kids? That but, don't matter. Doesn't matter. But, but then, in a sense, he took advantage of someone not in the right conscience, right? Like in the right Oh, spine. he got him drunk and fucking raped them, dude. <laughs> well, so basically what so you're saying, it was, can, it was a life and death situation. Butt over and the guy got in, got busy. The but one he, but, that wasn't technically gay. Right, right. But he was drunk, though. He right? was drunk yeah. and it was cold. That's, that's, so when y'all get drunk and cold, that's what you guys nah, do. Nah, we usually start a bonfire. 
<laughs> well, he started a bonfire. He started a bum bum fire. That's a bum fire. That's what that is. That's that bussy fire. No. And, and then they fell in love, and then it became that they were doing this, the going fishing. See, this is what I put together. <laughs> They're going fishing once a year, and the wife caught it because she put a note in his fish knapsack, fishing thing, and the guy never saw the note. And that's how she figured out that he wasn't going fishing. He was going fishing, but not for fish. Yeah, Ooh. yeah, he was. He was still. He was still putting that rod in that hole. Yeah. 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 So, what do you think, Chris? What were you going to say earlier? Oh, I don't. I, t- oh, I forgot. <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, no. It's just, the topic that you brought up. Yes. Asking guys mm-hmm. what, what they do, you know. Yeah. Yes. Like, I've been asked before if I like guys, mm-hmm. you know, and my favorite saying to the woman is, is "I like dick, mm-hmm. but my dick." Yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Exactly. I mean, I. I, yeah. do, I don't. I agree with that statement. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's, it, is, it's, it is what it is, but. Now, in I your don't, group, have you found out that maybe one of the guys might have been taking a second look at your naked body when you decide to get naked? Oh, uh, you know, that's a good question. Yeah, because you could tell when someone's like. I guess probably because we, like, were already, you know, when we were in, in the service, we were kind of already running around yeah. naked anyway. So we were getting in the showers and, you know. What they say in the service, don't ask, don't tell. Don't ask, don't tell. It ain't queer if it's by the pier. It ain't yeah. gay if it's underway. Yeah. It, if ain't, it ain't gay if you have your boot bands on. I could keep going. <laughs> there's, there's yeah. A, yeah. Yes. Because I, I, a lot of people lie, are coming, a lot of guys are coming out of the closet. The closet door is open wide now. And yeah, that And that's yeah. kind of scary in a sense if you think about it when you're there for one reason, but the reason that they're there is for another reason. A week. different reason. How yeah. would you feel yeah. if one of your friends <clears throat> came to you one day and said, um, you say his name was Bob. Hey, Bob, what's up? It's not Bob anymore. It's Barbara. And this is one of your close friends that you would never have thought in a million years. And maybe he hit you up on the butt before and, oh, yeah, <laughs> pinched you or whatever. How would you feel if one of your male friends, longtime male friends, come out the closet? Would you stop being their friend? No. No, I'm pretty progressive. Okay. You know what I mean? I'm not like a... As long as the personality... I'm sorry. Yeah, it's the same. No, no, no. It's fine. Too. I mean, it's same person. You know what I mean? It's just different... Gender. Know, different, like, Situation. things that they like. Yeah. You know what yeah. I'm saying? But it's, underneath, it's still the same person. How about yeah. you? I have no problem with it. As long as the person hasn't changed in their attitude and everything towards yeah. me. Yeah, and you're secure. I, I'm and not, I think I'm I would homophobic. be the same way, too. So what if you they know? come out and say, and... I'm flattered. I've always had a crush on you, and I was wondering if you and I can get together. I tell them, like, hey, bro, you're cool, but that's, uh, right. you're, that's not really my thing. You know what I mean? <laughs> that's that's what I would say. I mean, mm-hmm. my buddy could get a, t- a boob job, like, double Ds and fucking fat ass and all this shit, but it's still my buddy. Yeah. So I don't think I could get past any yeah. of that. You know, I just see him as my friend. So, mm-hmm. But there's, hey, there's different guys out there that… Are totally okay. I got, with them like I got one of my friends that likes that chick dudes, you uh-huh. know, and he says he's not gay. I'm like, well, I don't know. Are so you do like you confused? consider that gay? Okay, so I don't know. I don't, I don't know. know. What How I do you that. feel about that? Because it's like but if you're in love why with does, a man, why does, so, so it's so he like he likes he likes dude chicks trans, with dicks, transgender. Yeah, but they or, still no, have. They're not transgender. What are they? No, they're just see trans- transsexual. I don't even want to touch transsexual. this topic. <laughs> like, I, don't- <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I got you. Yeah, and I, I got and gay I friends. I got trans friends. Yeah, yeah. I, you know? I mean, yeah. I do too. We keep on my bro. but yeah, keep it on your side of the street, or if you come on my side, just respect. Yeah, and this is just, just and, your- you know, have a good time. That's mm-hmm. fine. But yeah, I, I love the female anatomy. Yeah, this is just yeah. plain your and opinion. simple. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, and it's true. Like I don't, I don't know. Like I have a lot of friends that. I mean, I have a whole bunch of friends that are gay, and it doesn't bother me. And, and, you know, and I go out with them. And does that mean I'm gay? No, it doesn't. Because I'm so secure with myself. But do I love them to pieces? Fuck yeah. That's just not your lifestyle. Uh, Yeah. Yeah. I get that. Now, here's my second part question. When you guys go on the guy's trip, okay, we're not doing gay. We're going to go with you guys going to get hookers. (gasps) No. We don't get hookers. Oh, yeah. I don't know. Are you going to get hookers in the middle of Alaska? (laughs) He's all in the middle. In the the Denali fucking national park. Can't. You could get a hooker. Ah, man. You could get a hooker anywhere. I I don't know about that. You could bring a hooker. Yeah, well, it's different for like all my yeah. friends. We're all married, so yeah. Like from us, it's not really what we do. Like I understand. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But now there's other people. I'm sure you know that do other things. But just in my particular group of people, 
You know what I mean? Like, we're all pretty chill. But and, you don't have any friends other than the people in your group that go on boys' trip and they're getting with hookers. It's funny that you say that. I, I don't just, know. We just had a... The, oh um, my, the girls? Yeah. We just had a talk about this. So, a couple of years ago, there was a golf tournament, right? Mm -hmm. And one of the guys, you know, was... I guess... I don't know if he was in charge of setting it up. So I don't know what he was... I don't know. Anyways, he fucking had hookers... You know, on the golf course. So I'll on the golf course? Yes. Did you do that? Apparently he did yeah. it. How? Who knows? But I heard it was like Caddy? Yeah. Exactly. Four hundred, five hundred an hour, no yeah, problem. Yeah, exactly. Jesus. So have you ever gone on a boys trip and you guys got well, some he lookers? Has, he has a better a better story than that, right, Chris? Come on. You, let yeah, it loose. Yeah, you know. Don't yeah. don't you I told you guys that here. Yeah, we so, know about we so, know. No. So the the bottom the thing for me is it's like you know, I I did have a service. Yes. What? Yeah. And, Escort. Um, I've never done. I um, you know, my How philosophy you was I can't. In that? I, I don't pay for anything I can get for free. Yeah. That was what my, one of my sayings was. I mean, that's kind of egotistical and arrogant, but um, you know, I work hard for my money. That's so, right. But now, 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 back on this, get off of me, and let's mm -hmm. talk about a situation and a story like what you're asking, because that same trip. That I was telling you about Bonneville, where they were calling, saying these, you know, like whatever, influencer or whatever. Yes. We had a conversation because we were in Wendover, uh, Utah, and then Wendover, Nevada. So mm -hmm. that this town split down the middle, and there's hookers on one side, you know. Yes. On, and on the other, there isn't. Yes. And we were talking, that, that was a topic a lot up there. Is they're yes. talking about trips when they've gone to the, the you know, chicken ranch or what, whatever is local. the bunny ranch? Or the bunny yeah, whatever's ranch. Whatever's near there. Yes, the bunny they, ranch. They had stories about it, mm -hmm. and they would talk about it. This this last trip. Ooh, and give us some stories. It's funny that you bring that up because today, my friend who has the car, mm -hmm. they had some T-shirts made up mm -hmm. back in, I don't know what year, and it was um, of, well, like, Wendover, Nevada, and then it had all the locations of the houses ah. like an app or something or like a, no it was on a t -shirt. the t-shirt on they the t-shirt printed up as it's a, a joke. map oh, it's, it's a joke. map like yeah, a roadmap it, to it happiness a and shit like Wait, is, there, is there some for so, girls too no no why isn't no, there some for girls? that's that's well i'm right. sure there that's is now right. right but yeah, that's right. I, so i don't i now that's one of my maybe one of my bucket list things that is what the bunny ranch no yeah like because i've never i've never paid i've never gone to to that at all Ooh. That's probably, that's probably so you, a very would, interesting you would do a, a prostitute? I said it, it could be on I mean, my you bucket. You probably already yeah. have, just didn't know she was a <gasps> prostitute. Well, um, come on. But if you I don't mean, pay for it, it's technically not prostitute. See, yeah. I, well, see, the difference between. Hey, okay, look, I, I had the service. Yeah. I had the service. <laughs> yeah. But we all do. That. So that's, I'm on the other side of it. I was yeah. on the other side Correct. of it. Correct, right, right. He right. was the owner. Right. The owner. He I'm had a test drive. Right. You know, so I don't want to really get into that too much but i mean i i can but i i still think like from from what your question is yes. uh, you know people that guys yes. guys time i mean yeah i think certain guys would and because and a lot lately. of guys will they won't tell that they've been with a prostitute i learned from guys telling me about their friends right but the guys will not that will not divulge that information information I, about well, being how do you feel them? about that do you guys think it should be legal like prostitution, prostitution should be legal. Isn't it legal? Not I thought, legal everywhere. No. Some places it Just is. Just in the state of Nevada, I think. It's, um, the it's, DR it's a felony is, in Oregon. Is, is legal. The DR, but, but that's not that's a territory. That's not a state. But yeah, how but about on Figueroa Street? It, you said is it legal? It's not legal in Figueroa. Well, why they 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 do it, it but right, but legal. they can get caught up and get charged. So I think yeah. it's probably better if they were to do that because then that would eliminate probably sex trafficking you would have to get verified you'd have to get age verified they would have to get tested that's a good point you know what i Government. mean like, like i mean it's <laughs> the well, oldest, it's the oldest Francisco, trade the in the fucking world were, um they were uh, going union so no way yeah and they want, more power to them and they want disability when well, they slide down like, the poles Ooh. No way. Yeah. Hey, they, they, they can break their hips and oh, stuff. So I that's guess. That's a hazard of the job. Yeah. Isn't that funny? They want. No, that's serious. They were. The, oh, yeah. The last thing I heard, they were um, they were actually petitioning to become union. I don't know what union was going to carry them. Right. <laughs> Did that probably start a new Form their union own. or something? I'm sure yeah. Some kind of entertainment. Yeah, the entertainment. That's entertainment. Crazy. Yeah. 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 Wow. That's kind of that's kind of weird, though, that they have. They have a girl. They have one that's suited for men, right? But that mm -hmm. they don't have a bunny ranch for women. 
I'm actually kind of surprised that. They well, don't. they I, used to have they call strip clubs. So strip clubs is a prostitution ring. I've worked in one. Pretty much prostitution ring works out of a strip club, yeah. and they sell in lap dances and they sell in whatever I, else. Whatever else. I used to VIP. Yeah. Sit in there and collect my money in the yeah, parking lot. Yeah. Yeah. See, and but it's different men versus women because men. I mean, but, how many times can you really get it up in a day? Versus a woman, how many times can she lay on her back and just get it done? You know I, what I'm I mean, saying? a woman could keep going. Yeah, that's, there would have to be rotations. I would yeah, assume. that's what I'm saying. So if a woman's going to go and she's like, I want that guy. Let's and that guy's like, I can't action. get it. I'll, I'll, just, I'll take first half, you take second yeah. half. You know, well, they could be doing like when you get a prostitute, she goes, you know, oral costs this much, this costs this much. So a guy, oh, that's a good point. You say, well, mm -hmm. oral, she, he'll say oral, you know, $25 or whatever. And he'll have to get anything up at that point. If the coochie's stinky, though, you got to bump Ew. that shit up to, like, He's getting paid, so I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but it's vice versa. If the man's going to the woman, yeah. right, and it's like, mm, because, you know, it's already been triggered how many times for how many men. And you know what? I have a question. Do they wear condoms? Who? The the hookers. Well, does I mean, the, the guy hookers, would have to. The girl? The guy I mean, would I'm have sorry, to wear The guy, the does a guy, yeah, like, do they require that? So we're going there. I have no idea. Yeah. Man. Well, it's a question. I, well, I would imagine. If somebody so, out, if somebody out there's been to a whorehouse, make sure you health comment standard down below. in that industry. Yeah. I would think they'd have to have a health standard. The in that answer industry. is yes, absolutely. Yeah. Without yes. fail, without yep. question. Yep. No, no excuses. Yep. No. Well, no, the guy, behind, the, guy, I, the I voice like, behind the wall said yes. I absolutely. like how he knows that. <laughs> yeah. How do we know that? Yeah, I know that. Uh, yeah. But. <laughs> it's been verified. <laughs> Yeah, I it's, Googled it's it. absolutely been. Oh, how did we get on this subject? I know, right? I know where we're letting loose with Lou <laughs> because I, I have this conversation with guys all yeah, the that's, time. That's right. And I always want to hear, mm. and it, all the guys always say no to the Brokeback Mountain. They say no to the prostitution. Would you but then I hear from other guys that are tattletelling, they go, oh, no, yeah, they. Yeah, I've had that experience. So, who, and what about girls? Do girls do that? Have what? The, whole, the works. Mm. What do you mean you, the works? The, what you just said about the guy, do the girls do that? When we when go the on girl, girls, on girls trip, trip, do, do, you we get, do, do you get do you get a uh, male stripper, you know, with a no. you know, swinging his dick around? Um, do you at get, certain parties, we do you do, do you do certain things like that? Because it can go both ways, you no, know? You're right. Totally. You're right. Absolutely right. And I go on a lot of girls trips, and I haven't been involved in it. Usually, we're just having fun or whatever, but we don't the bring dudes. Out. and do, Me and the girls make up? Yeah. Uh, so the last girl I made out with, um, I found oh, out that I yeah. found out <laughs> I found out that um, that she was a dude. What? Yeah. So, um, but she didn't fool me because she had a mustache and a beard. So. <laughs> 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 Oh, I knew where that was going. Oh, <laughs> That's so funny. Oh, oh my god! But yeah, yeah no, I, I no. mean, I, I, so I would, that's not my thing. But you would expect I, what would you expect when you ask that question from guys? What? what get any other different answer than other than what they say? No, you know. Because I mean? some, some probably. I mean, you, you know, question. I mean, but, answer differently. And also, no, none of them will also, ever it's a admit to it. Sorry, also, I think it's an individual thing for each per person everybody mm -hmm. has their standards that they want to yeah. live by and they're not gonna you know just mm -hmm. because you go out with the guys everybody's gonna join in and just do what you know and the group of guys you hang out with could have the same values or thought process as you See, right. that's what i yeah. think like the girls like, I, yeah. I think i think there's maybe certain groups of guys that do that but then there's certain group of guys yeah. that don't just like how yeah. for you guys there's yeah. some group of girls that do and that. that's true like all my right. girls are, are yeah. married you know or have been divorced but married and like we carry that same value where we're like, okay, you know. But, then, like yeah. but even even I don't even think if I was if I wasn't married, you know, let's say I was a single dude or whatever. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I still don't think I could do that just because I don't want to pay yeah. for that. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like I I rather get a genuine connection and have yeah. a genuine experience, experience with somebody than than just forking out the money. So what kind it's of very men? transactional? Okay, hey, Chris. Just, what? What kind of men usually fork out for something like that? Uh, uh you'd be surprised. Okay, so give us some examples. Every walk of life. Yeah. Really? Oh yeah, I've, I've. Yeah. I've got. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I, I mean, I ran, I ran into a guy one time in public that I went, you yeah. know, to his house with somebody, and he did some weird shit. Yeah. So it's more because they're in fat. And they're just it. an upstanding person in society, you know, just your regular average Joe out there. Yeah. I think it's just a thrill. 
It, well, Probably. sure it is. It's, a it's abso- because, absolutely. Uh, now, back to this, there's a guy that, um, a few guys, they say that they would rather go on po- pay to get a prostitute because she already knows well, what's getting ready to go I can down. Tell you, and yeah. I'm getting what I want, and I have to deal I, with it. I can tell you, you have to be well-equipped for today's society and having a relationship in today's society based on that simple statement. To me, I agree with that kind of after years of dating Mm -hmm. and trying to find someone that is not, you know, we're all broken toys in my Mm -hmm. opinion. We all have our, yeah, you know what I mean? So finding someone that you can, I don't mean to get all serious with this topic. No, 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 but yeah. It really really relates to it because totally, you know what I mean? Absolutely. You're, you know, uh. (laughs) well, you, I'm, they're married. I'm not married. So yeah, I'm not married. You and I, either. we're on that same yeah, and spectrum it's, it's, of dating. I'm just going through it kind of right now. It's just like, you know, I've been on both sides of the spectrum. Mm-hmm. Right. Okay? For different reasons. Yes. I've, I've been in the seedy side of the business, yes. and I've tried to walk that line and, and have, have that, um, what is it, hope or whatever you think. Oh, maybe I'll find somebody yes. that can, you know. I've had some good relationships, uh-huh. but usually it goes sour for some reason. But it's we're, like... Where do you think it goes sour? Like, at what point? Like, at well, what phase? Look, it's it's a it's not a one sided thing, mm-hmm. you know. It's everybody has their part in it. I have my part in it, and I I admit it because mm-hmm. I you know I talk too much sometimes, mm-hmm. and I spit it all out. And you need and to be on this podcast a lot more. I I <laughs> I, I I tend to do that, and I scare people away with mm-hmm. the things I say because I'm so straightforward, and I just I lay it out. Yeah, right. I, I There's nothing. I'm that. No. I, I don't have you know what I don't have any skeletons in my closet yeah. and if you judge me then you don't belong in my life exactly right that's how I see it right but I'm genuine and you know you know but where that I'm probably from. works good for you because you're well it filters trash, you it know? filters but I tend to attract some people that are I, I don't know what it is but I end up I could look at it two ways negatively and and positively mm-hmm. I choose to look at it from a positive perspective mm-hmm. because mm-hmm. if I end up with someone like that has things going on in their, in their life or in the past that have caused them to have relationship issues and they can't hold a relationship or that, you know, they don't care about themselves or they don't know how to care about themselves. So they do things crazy. And mm. well, I could be in, I could choose to run or I could choose to learn something from that person, mm-hmm. you know, but it gets awful tiring. So I just kind of go back to the, the, you know, it's like I have a purpose in life. And I don't always know what it is, mm-hmm. but I'm going to enjoy my life, and I want to date. Mm-hmm. So, what are my choices? I guess I could just go to the whorehouse, like you brought up, or I could try dating, and maybe which is the same as whorehouse. No, it's not. No, it's not. It's a different. It's not. Thing. It's, do you go it's, on? It's, do you go on those dating sites to find? Yeah, I, wherever I can. Okay. <laughs> my well, not necessarily. No, That's, no, no. I know. But yeah. Yeah, to, on those dating sites, it's it's. From a woman's perspective, they're all looking for sex. They're not looking for a relationship. The guys that's are serious. Yeah, yeah. The guys are. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. and they're, some of them are cuckoo for cocoa puffs. Right. When you say we all are broken, yeah, there yeah. are people that are. Uh, I mean, broken. do you feel like as 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 we as we age, as we progress through life, you know, everybody like the ones that are, you know, doing their thing or whatever. It almost seems like as the the older you get, the smaller and smaller that pool of people mm-hmm. starts to become, yeah. right? Because then there's kids involved, there's other right. exes involved, right. there's all this extra yeah, stuff baggage, involved. Yeah. So it just keeps thinning out, thinning right. out, thinning out, thinning and out. And then you, at, at a certain age, you're already stuck in your ways, like how you said you have no filter. And yeah. and mm-hmm. then uh, like me, I'm not with the bullshit. It's like, dude, mm-hmm. I see right through. I had them data pimps. Yeah. Everything. So I, I pretty. I got five, six brothers. So I know how the game runs. And when right. you start running a little sorry game, I'm looking at you like, what's yeah, really, you know? So and and I get it. But I, I tell you one thing. I don't know them dating apps. Just no, they're not. I've had a couple good experiences with it, but I've had. Why don't y'all date? Y'all both are. I was just gonna say yeah, that. I'm like, I, wait no, a you, minute. I, I can't do coworkers. Uh. <laughs> you're, you're, you're beautiful. I'm just saying, you guys you're beautiful. are beautiful. Yeah. That's no offense. You're beautiful, but. No, thanks. I'm all. Hmm. You know, you know what I mean. That's, I was gonna lay it down for you, bro. I know, I know you guys no, are but it's. I, but see, that's why I keep getting nobody. Exactly. See, you why? <laughs> Usually, they're afraid of me. Like, oh no, she's too much. What's, blah blah blah. You're just uh, you're confident. Not, that's that's, that's you need a confident man. You need There's a nothing to be afraid of. Yeah. I don't think with you, but I just like 
So you don't. You well, don't I don't like want your money. Coworkers. I don't. Need I don't. Your, no, I, I don't need your insurance. I don't need your. Yeah, money, I know. Right? I know. <laughs> That's awesome. My children, that's I'm awesome. empty nester. That's, per that's perfect. <laughs> Dang, that's actually that's really good. Win, win, win. I work, see, I work see, and travel. That's a have see, fun. See, yeah. You're actually, you're a, you're a catch. <laughs> yeah. You're a catch. Yeah. But, but I'm single. Probably a lot of guys are afraid of that. I'm actually yeah. afraid of your confidence. You yeah. Yeah, I'm single. I yeah. mean, it's, um, it, but yeah, dating at work is just not. Oh, well, I don't. I see it, you know, and it's like I don't. Yeah, get, I don't want to get involved true. in it. It's just, very familiar. But I guess yeah, it just it is, it's too you know convenient. Well, I think it depends yeah. on who you're dealing I was with. Just gonna say. And if you're dealing with someone that's mentally child childish and they're not, yeah. you know, mature mm -hmm. because it comes to maturity. Yeah. Actually, I have an ex that at work, and we yeah. never really had issues with work. Yeah. It was the issues after we broke up. Oh. That's when the and it really wasn't an issue with me. He just didn't want to let me go. Oh. And I get it. But <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> well, um, yeah. But eventually, you know, it all panned out, whatever. But um, yeah, so And you know, like with me, my baby daddy, you know, works down with yeah. me. And I like for many years, I think like for 15 years, everybody nobody knew that I was baby daddy. Yeah. You know, and till, you know, we had to legally use the last oh. name and I was like, yeah. <laughs> and everybody was like, wait a minute. Everybody figured it out. Yeah, they're like, uh, I'm like, mm, yeah. you know, but I mean, like, but it seems like it would be difficult to definitely date somebody that works with you. But not technically, no, it because it really isn't. Like I said, not, it's the maturity. Really? If, I, if you're, if you're, I think it is. I think really? if, yeah. no, I think it's who you're dealing with because, well, well, yeah, come on. And and if you, if you guys have are, a person that's very jealous, that I think that was more the issue with that's me. That makes a lot of that's sense. That's a big deal. He was yes. very jealous. Be and every Especially man that girls. talks to me, he ran in the middle of them. I'm her husband. Well, you see, know. Okay. That's a prime example of like why I wouldn't do it because I don't want to put myself in a position to even think about it. I don't want to see it. I don't want it in my face. It's like one thing. I'm confident enough, but why do I want to put myself in a situation like that to where I got to witness it all the time? You've seen and that happen at puts, work. It's a male, dom it's huh? a male dominated and you've you know, seen that place where we work. I've at. seen it at work. Yeah. So, and I know what the guys are like at work. So why yeah. would I want to do that to yeah. myself? Well, we know several couples that work together and they're fine that I know about unless they're putting up a real fake show. Well, <laughs> it's, it's, you don't know. I mean, that's, yeah. yeah, you never know, you know. You, you're right. What goes yeah. on at home is whole different than what goes up in front of, in front yeah. of people because they don't want their... Yeah, so I get it, but anyway, whatever. <laughs> I mean, if there's a longshoreman out there that want to date me uh, with our income, baby, let's yeah. do it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, she's so crazy. Because that's a double, baby, yes. <laughs> oh, man. We just have an understanding, period. Get it yeah. together. That's a good, it's it's a good thought. I mean, it's a good, I mean, I definitely agree with the, the th process, the thought process. Well, I, I look sense. at it like this. But definitely the exposure from, like, I mean, you girls get hounded down oh, there. Yeah. So it, it almost feels like when I was in the Marine Corps, like, and we'd have a very small platoon of girls, right? Mm -hmm. And then it, we'd be in an infantry unit, and it's just all guys. Yeah. We could yeah. even smell it in the air. Like, I could smell, the I could smell yeah. the fucking wow. the hairspray, and we're, wow. just, we're like, holy crap! Like, wait, there's a chick around here? Oh like, holy God. fuck! We haven't seen a chick in like six months. Yeah. And then we smell that hairspray or whatever and lotion. That was like triggered. Yeah, we just yeah. perk up and shit. Wow. That's how I feel like it is down there. Wow. It's just you girls get. Every and single when new dude. fish is on the line, boy. And, and yes, you know, I've Being had a dispatch. I can see it. I've had personal <laughs> experience with people. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. You know, I don't like putting it out there, but I've had personal experience with guys mm -hmm. that have what we're talking about. Mm -hmm. You know, it's just it's natural. You know, but some guys just, it's there. They're going to go after it. Your testosterone is. They don't care yeah. if they're married or not. They so don't. have you dated someone at work before? No. No. Oh, you never even tried it. Well, I did when I, I was younger, maybe. But that's mm. when I was drinking and I didn't really care. Mm. Now, let me, I, I got to think. I jar my memory, but I don't think I was ever working any place where I met someone other than when I was younger, you know. So you just want to be in love. You want you want someone to I, love you. I don't. I think you well, want everybody wants. We all want that. I think well, you're right, don't. bro. They just. I think, think deep down inside, even those guys do. Some yeah. people, they just they're about. I mean, look, some women. I'm gonna. I, no, I gotta I, say, men and women. I. I love myself. I've got, yeah. come to that point in life where I don't 
need somebody in my life, but it'd be nice to have somebody in my life. But we all need somebody in our lives. Well, we're supposed we to. We all do, we're, right? We're supposed to, I think right? that's biologically just the way we're that made. Yeah, but I think we're just but mentally just No matter to, how hard we are. What we with whatever. Yes. That that's the that's the difficult part. Yeah. Is because we're wired. Guys are wired differently than yeah. girls. Oh, and definitely. We, so they're always there's always going to be some sort of friction. Yeah. You know and I mean? was just talking to my <laughs> friend about this because she was like, "God, you know, it's so hard dating out there." And I'm like, "Well, you know, I'm like, what do you want? What do you want?" And what she wants, it's hard because you can't read a man. Men are just, like you said, programmed differently. Like their mind, like you could be thinking, oh my God, I'm in love with this girl. But your face says the total opposite and your right. gesture and your body, you know, everything's going to say different, you know? We're very simple creatures. Though. No. Girls are very, very Mary Men has are said very that. Simple. They're very We're simple. We're very simple creatures. Creatures. But the thing is, is what it is at a certain age is most men are damaged goods and most women are damaged goods. At this age. Yeah, it's very complicated. Because they've been through relationships that yeah. didn't work. They've been through men that didn't work. Yeah. Whatever the case may be. So now they're damaged goods. Yeah. And it's almost like you can't get past, get to the water because you're trying to see almost all on the sand. And mm. well, this 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 reminds me of this. So no, this reminds me of this. No, oh, it seems like, so they don't even give you the chance. Yeah. I, yeah. I got a question for both of you, actually. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Um, I don't know if you guys are familiar with the term passport, passport bros. Right, so now there's people, there's there's uh people here in the states oh. dating outside of the country. Oh, oh yeah, so, yeah. You know I'm, they're dating like yeah. like guys are going to the Philippines and getting yeah. uh, Filipino girls, or or girls are going to different countries. Would you guys and girls would would y'all do that? Would y'all date outside of? I'll the be country? down. Is that like a male? Isn't that called well, male or right? Right? Male bride. Male bride. Male, there's a male order bride. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they used um, to have that it. was like back in the old school days. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So. But, but it's see, just man, I don't know because when you're dating someone out of the country, and I've had the experience because I'm out of the country a lot, they're trying to get in the country, just get over papers. here and leave your ass. <laughs> so, wait a minute. Yeah. So, Seriously, they're no, trying yeah. to get over here. So you don't know if they're just and they you know, know how legit. to be fake as fuck. So, Excuse my friend. <laughs> <laughs> they know how to be fake, especially the females. Oh, they're they're trained. Okay. I, and you I, think that they love that you, you so this, much. It's so weird. I just went on a date Saturday with a Russian gal. No yeah. You ran oh, to a Russian gal? Yeah. She had she had to use a, a phone app. <gasps> To, um, oh, to you guys some, know. some of the words. Really? <gasps> okay. How interesting. So yeah. One and it of was, my friends. It was kind of interesting because, you know, I tend to talk too much sometimes. Yes. <laughs> You're so, so I, I, I No. Well, I do. So I mean, how I, did you do it? Like, the whole time she was using like Google She understood Translate? some English. She's taking English classes, but it's very… It's okay. Accents there, yeah. and her English is broken. Not gonna but, lie, I kind of like the Russian like… Yeah, no, accent. she was… Yeah. Okay, but wait a minute. Wait a minute. But her her oh, English man. is yeah. broken, and she's just learning. But she knew how the fuck to get on the goddamn websites, yeah. right? Oh yeah. Exactly. That's See what I'm legit, saying? Though, man. Yeah. Like now you're like going. You're, you're so my friend. Out. Well, I mean, I I'm only living once. Yeah. yeah. And and I look at it this way. It's like, well, if someone, you know, if, if I'm gonna be single, I might as well have fun. I don't have to have have, you know, take my clothes off with someone. I mean. Just go have fun and practice. Yeah, I feel like like you know? the, the old the older I'm getting now, it's not even about the sex anymore. It's just literally about how old yeah. are you? I'm 37. He's oh, a baby. God. Yeah. You got a whole. You're my, yeah, you're you're my middle child, son. Yeah. Really? Are you married? I don't. You're married, right? Yeah, I'm married. Yeah. I don't even. I don't even care about that shit. To me, it's more wow. of the. Well, you got a woman. The experiences. Yeah, like yeah, yeah. Just doing. That's things, cool. That's doing cool. Things. Isn't that beautiful? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, no, that's the way yeah. I feel about it. Too. I just want somebody that way. we could just. I mean, go it's, and have it's a important good time, part of the travel. relationship, right? But Not it's no cool BS. to have your part, your your ride I'm or die with you. Yeah, that's you're just doing right. like you're, shit together. Yeah, like, yeah you yeah. know what I mean. Like it's just finding somebody that you can do things yeah. with yeah. that you connect. And you, right, and yeah. it's like just and sometimes whatever. It's hard. Sometimes it is, sometimes it's not. I mean, and then it looks at the age group because I'm not looking for a younger guy. I, I'm just not. Yeah, a younger that. guy would totally go for you. Just to yeah, but they're so full. I have to whoop their ass because right. once they start trying to play these little sorry games, I don't yeah, have time yeah. for that. Get me a Nintendo and all that stuff. I'm not doing. All <laughs> <laughs> oh, wrong guys. I'm Definitely nobody's no video cougar. Game. Uh uh. Yeah, no, no, no. <laughs> cougar. And then the older men, they're um, damaged goods. 
and they're okay with being damaged goods, and not, that's not fun. It's like, that's not fun. You're telling me I'm your not. damaged goods are we so. Gotta find, we gotta find you a good dude. Yeah, we gotta I find know. you a good dude. Yeah, I, it's gonna, I'm, I'm gonna make it happen. Just somebody's give out there. Somebody yeah. give me some time. I think God will send the person to me when it's time. And she's so funny. <laughs> they know. And well, that's kinda, what I say. Yeah. I mean, and I well, won't have see, sex with him first. <laughs> right. <laughs> After the third one. <laughs> <laughs> the other way around. <laughs> Now, if he rapes me, well, you know, I mean, the R word, sorry. Oh, my God. Oh, that's a whole different Rapes. Different yeah. Grapes. Grapes. Yeah, it's grapes. called, if he give me some grapes, that's fine. <laughs> She's a good time, though. Oh, yeah. I bet. I bet. That's hilarious. So, so you're dating Russians now, so. Uh, I'm not. I'm. <laughs> I'm. You're going to be on the watch list now, man. Right. Anybody need yeah. to get married to no, get that... some citizenship? Get some yeah. beer, Chris. No, hey, you know, I, look, I'm, I'm not, I yeah. got street smarts, obviously. Well, we know you it's, got street smarts. Yeah, yeah, obviously. Yeah. So yeah. I'm going to play. You and I could get the business going back to No, care. it's not my deal. <laughs> no, I don't have any desire for that. I mean, there's, I guess I think about it once in a while, but. It's, it's, See, that's some good... It like fades, huh? Huh? It like fades. After yeah. Well. Yeah, it's just, you know, it's yeah. life becomes, it just transitions, mm -hmm. you know, and change happens. You've been through a lot. I have been through a lot. And you I have been through a whole lot. Hardly anything. Right. I think I've, sometimes, do you tell the women your story? Sometimes I do, and it I scares I think that them. scares the yeah. crap out of them. Yeah. Like, it doesn't scare me because I'm with it. Well, I'm, I, I've been I know. through a lot, too. I, it depends See? on the individual. I've dated girls. I've dated, I got with, I was with, in a relationship with a woman that um, was, you know, she used to run with patched members and she was a uh, uh, bisexual and she was in uh, uh, Club Magazine, you know, the girl, mm -hmm. all girl lesbian magazine and she was a high priced blah, blah, blah. And, mm -hmm. and, um, why, why am I talking? See, I'm talking too much and I lose my thought. So good man, just go with it. No, yeah. just go with go it. With go it, with it. So, but why, why, why am I bringing it up again? This is my age no coming idea. out. <laughs> He's like, talking about, but, well, uh, talking about chicks with yes. baggage, dudes with baggage. Yeah, I mean, so stuff. Like I, you, you don't know until you try. Yeah. Exactly. You know, and, and my, my thought process in life is if I want to do something, I'm going to, I'm going to, if I can do it, whether it's, start a farm and grow hemp, you know, and start a CBD company, and I've never done it before, well, how am I going to know if I don't try it? Right, same you got to try. With, I'll same go, thing. I'll go halves with you, man. I'll yeah, I yeah, did it. Yeah, you got to try. I did that. Oh, for real? Yeah. And, I used, um, I thought about this over 15 years ago, and baby daddy was like, oh, no, you don't want to get into this. Like, and I was like, why not? See, my motto is, what's the worst that could happen? I'm right back to where I was to yeah, begin with. Yeah, you're right. Well, you know, one. yeah. It's funny because I, I could. <laughs> Go ahead. Be, be careful what you say, sir. No, I, <laughs> I could. I could. Uh, I could talk my way out of a wet dream. Oh, okay. You're Gemini, right? Yeah. Oh. I, I could be, Gem sleep I could be sleeping and talking myself out of, have, you know? I mean, I'm, I'm, I, mean I, I got that. I'm going full sand. Gemini. I'm not stopping that. We're back. both Geminis. Yeah. Uh, okay. Oh, man. Yeah. <laughs> and and that's, I've, dated, I've dated a couple Geminis, and it's and fun. And how was that? It's not this fun. one. Yeah. No, no, not you. I know. I know. It's a different Gemini. I'm sure he, I could tell. Oh, I, I, I know. But so my point is, is that, you know, everybody's, you got, I just want to experience life and, you know, with. with and enjoy. Yeah, why and not? try to enjoy it. Why not? And, um, but still have, carry myself like a man, you know, yeah. a good man. And yes. Because I've been the other side, you know, I've been. Yeah. But it's okay though. Like, you, you know, know, like, and I always say, like, it's okay at our age to want that. When yeah. we're young, I mean, when I was young, I was reckless. Yeah. I was effing crazy. Like, I, yeah. I literally thought and walked around like I was a dude. Like, I, yeah. I was untouchable. You know, I yeah. felt that way because I knew where I stood. Yeah. And so, you know, but when we get older, you know, you, you have to rethink that, you know, it's. Yeah. I mean, once you get older and have children, your mind. Yeah. You, some people are still childish yeah. and that's, that's my oh. problem with a lot of men that mentally they're not, they're not moving forward. They got, come on, you have I children, your grandpa. That. Yeah. You need to grow the freak up and stop yeah. acting like a kid because you're not a kid. Maybe you've been through a relationship and you got divorced. I have one friend that 
been married 25 years, got a divorce, and now he's just slinging the thing everywhere. I'm like, boy, you can have HIV, slinging it like that. And at age almost 60, now you got all these diseases. That's dumb. Shit. Yeah. I mean, you know, it's like, really, grow yeah. up. It's not about let me try and get as much as I can because I missed something for being married 25 years. Yeah. Grow hell, grow the hell up. Sex you know? is such a short thing. It's, it's good. It's great. But it's very, once you, you're done, you're you done. get it over with, you're done. You know what I mean? That's yeah. it. And then that's... Get, get a pocket nothing. pussy, man. Get a dildo. Yeah. yeah. You know what I mean? Figure like, fuck, yeah. take care of yourself. And yeah. Then, yeah. yeah. That's yeah. what it is. Yeah. But do many people see it like that out there? Like, no. 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 You know? And, and that's the crazy part. It's like, at what point of our lives, or, you know, do you realize? At what point? Sometimes it took me till thir- like 35. 35? <laughs> I know. Hey, you're very you're, young. You're an, yeah. exce- you're you're an exception. He's yeah. pro- oh, he is such an, you're an old soul. I've lived yeah. multiple lives. Yeah. 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 He, this That's dude cool. is like such an old soul. And the thing is, like, and your wife is super lucky to have you because you really are a thorough thinker about not just the present, but the past and what the future is like. Yeah. Yeah, you really are. And that's one thing about him is that I feel it's like I'm 50 years old and like a 37 year old. That yeah, mechan- yeah. mechanical aptitude that you <laughs> yeah. look at things, and break it down. That or just just the fact just that I, you, I, are too, huh? you know, yeah, the experiences that I went through in yes. the military. Yeah. You know, leaving leaving at 17. Yeah. And being on my own and you know getting deployed in some really bad places. Yeah. Mm. For a really long time. Yeah. And, for a young age. Wondering are you gonna yeah. make it out? I was I was 18 in Iraq. I yeah. was you know I was in war yeah. like as a. That's as, yeah. I got mad, I got mad respect no for you, bro. Yeah, yeah that's respect. crazy. So yeah. it was, yeah, I had to grow up really fast, you know, I and mean, he kind of, that's, that's I, awesome. I, I, I was still messed up. I still drank myself to sleep multiple times yeah, because yeah. I had to deal with everything that I, that I went through. Um, and it took a little bit of time to get out of that phase. Right. And then when I got out and I was a civilian, then I joined the motorcycle clubs. So then I did that gang stuff. Oh, yeah. And I, you know, I went, I, trust me, I've been through a lot. A lot at a 37. Lot. Yeah. Yeah. You're, you're, yeah. Yeah. You, yeah. Yeah. 37. I was still a virgin. <laughs> again. again, a reborn, again. a reborn, again, oh, reborn. Oh, yeah, man. she's so funny. I know, I, I know. It's crazy how you look back and you just wonder like where life has taken you. And you know, and this is the beauty about letting loose and talking about our experiences and where we've gone, where we've been, where we're at. You know. And, it, and it's been a pretty good topic. I think it it led us to different steps, right? Mm-hmm. And we went from one topic and then we kind of blended into another one. And yeah. at the end, it's like, <laughs> what do we really want? You know, what do we really look for? What do we really need? You know, what is out there for us? That changes too. I think it, yes. it's not only that, what you're looking for, but are you willing to accept mm. it when it comes? I mean, sometimes people look a gift horse in the mouth and go, nah, yeah. that ain't what I need. Yeah, and right. Just let go probably of the best thing that yeah. could ever happened to That's, you yeah. your entire life. And then you don't know where you went wrong. Mm-hmm. It was I, that split decision. I went to, I used to go to a relationship seminar because I was picking, I don't know why I was, I wanted to know why I was picking the women that I was dating. And the, the lady said that if you find something that's 51% valuable, like mm-hmm. keep her or really? keep him. Interesting. That one percent, you know, instead of if it's it, it's kind of a weird way of describing it, mm-hmm. but that, that it made sense. it made sense to me it because sense. Yeah. it's like okay, if it's on fifty fifty, then where's the value in it? So you it's know, like a corporation. Yeah. You want forty, you want fifty fifty one percent, not and the other person has forty nine percent. And it's mm-hmm. funny because I always I, say like my relationship is like a business. <laughs> yeah, you know, because my first marriage. I married by church, by religion, and did the whole thing. And I'm like, <laughs> right, you know? Yeah. So my second time, I'm like, look, it, it's going to be like a business. You know, we're going to run it like a business. Well, because- it is a business. Good. That's smart. It really marriage is. is a business That's, if yeah. you really look at it. Yeah. It's not yeah. always great. You know, yeah. you're going to have your downfalls and yeah. you have yeah. your, so like your high times or yeah. low times. Yeah. And you have to literally be communicate yeah because yeah. even in a business you have to communicate if you don't have oh, communication yeah. totally. and if you don't can't bend because you have to bend it's not going to be like i'm the man this is what's gonna happen you don't like it it don't work like that especially in this age now especially yeah. with women making their money you can't yeah. work you can't right. i and mean you but know, some men like it like that and some women will fall for that 
-hmm. Right. But, you know, not I. That I should mean, be established ahead yeah, of time. Yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm going to be submissive to the point that I need to be, but not right. overly. Right. <laughs> and you know, Chris, Well, and, and you know, that's something that's fading, too, from women. I mean, just yeah. being submissive itself. Like, yeah, because they don't now, feel they have to. A lot of women nowadays are, are you know, with the younger generation, yeah. they they don't do that. You know what I mean? Right. I think that's that's something that's… That makes a woman a woman. Not necessarily well, be submissive to everything, but just just rely on your on your man. You it, know what I mean? Like just, yep. just have that trust. You know, I, I trust hard in you. Sometimes I, I can I can see yeah, that. That's well, with the that. new generation, yes. the men are different. But not just that's the true. New They're not men. Yeah. yeah. Right. No. Good They're point. They're, They're, but boys, okay, dude. Good, but good not point. just the new generation because. We at our age, there's men that are 60 years old right now that they fucking think they're the shit because they're fucking on social media and you know, some fucking kumbaya biatch from fucking who yeah. knows what country or dude on the other side of the fucking, you Probably know, dude. Yeah. yeah, he's like, Oh, yeah. you're fucking hot, dude. Like, oh my, you know, it's and these catfish. men, yes, yeah. totally. Getting catfish, yeah. probably a dude, yeah, yeah. dressed up yeah. in drag, right? Definitely a dude <laughs> laughing, Def like, hey, send me, send me your credit card and yeah. I'll go ahead and yeah. send you a boo pick, you know. Yeah. This is happening to a lot of men. Yeah. Mm -hmm. A lot of men get their egos boosted by this shit. And and it's like, dude. That's like, a, that's not really a man though. If if no. you're if you if you're relying on social media and internet to try to boost that's your scary. ego, you're not a man. You know no, what I mean? You're, that's a such a men are insignificant the, thing. Are the boys trip. Yeah, the, 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 or the, I mean the boys trip like those dudes that do that. Yeah, I feel I like I call it travel tricking. Travel trick. Yeah, a bunch of guys just go and they go trick. Or so would it be better if the guys trip was like guys and girls trip? No, no, it doesn't have to be a guys and girls trip. I'm just bringing reality out on what a tri on some, travel yeah. tricking is and cruise cruise pimping. Tricking. Ooh, cruise. <laughs> what's cruise pimping? A guy that he, you know when you you have to get a cruise based on double occupancy, so you got to pay for two anyway. So you take the female with you and make you think, make her think that you taking her on a cruise. No, it's you already gonna pay for it, so you're just taking her on a free cruise. I didn't even and know. And the women be that. like, <gasps> you can meet on not, a you're married. Cruise. That's a thing. <laughs> yeah, cruise for pimping. Really? Yeah, and you get points. And <laughs> Look at Chris. Chris is like, what I the heck? No idea. Trip tricking and cruise pimping. <laughs> Oh, well, we talked we talk quite a bit about life and how we're kind of getting older and, and changing our views in life and stuff like that. How do you guys feel about death? <laughs> you know, my friend. I'm ready to die. Oh, stop. You're too young, girl. You're too young. So my friend, we were talking about this, you know, because I have a group of girls. And we talk about a lot of things. Relationships, friendships, you know, baby daddy relationships, husband relationships, just everything in general, right, about life. And she says, you know. My husband was just telling me, we only have 20, at the most, if we're healthy, mm -hmm. yeah. 20 more summers to live. And it's not even necessary health because you yeah. can book well, today. Yeah. You never know. Well, yeah. You know what I mean? Well, yeah. But I mean, like, she put it in a whole different perspective, you right? Have, you have you have less time left on your clock than you do time left on yeah, the clock. You have yeah, more, you have because more time behind you than you have, you have yeah. in front of you. Because yeah. people say, oh, you're 50, you're halfway there. No, you're technically not. Yeah. Technically, once you turn 50, you have anywhere from 10, 15, 20, 30, maybe Not 40 years. Not even that years. now. Uh, I mean, because people if, are, uh, well, never my know. friend died at 40. I mean, you know, it's like. I think the average the average lifespan of a person right now, I think, is 75 to 80 years. If that, yeah. not even that. Average. I think it may be 75 because, yeah. like, now people are passing away at 65 and 68. And that's why you got to live life because tomorrow's not right. promised. True. That's right. How do you guys feel about death itself? Because I had this conversation literally with my daughter about two days ago. Oh. Yeah, with okay, my 12-year-old. Well, you how you feel about it's it. It's inevitable. What, well, what I mean is that she was she was talking about death itself and then um, she was afraid of it. And, and I and oh. I explained was to her. Was it the baby? Uh, yes, the baby. Oh. So I, I explained wow. to her like, look, mama's like, I, I have, I have you know, less in front than I do behind me. Yeah. And I said, I don't think one should fear death, but they should respect yeah. You know what I mean? It's not it's not something that that it's inevitable. It's going to oh, happen to everybody. everybody. Yeah. Nobody can get away from that. My but you learn how to respect it. You're not going to go out there and do stupid shit to get yeah. you dead, you know, so that's the respect part. Totally. And it, so it's not really a fear. It's more of a I see you I, I acknowledge you, but I'm going to enjoy myself now and point. I'll see you when yeah. I have to see you. So my my older son when I was in um I had a, I was on a trip and my um, ex-husband calls me and he's like, your son's freaking out. And I was like, why is he freaking out? Right. And he's like, you need to talk to him. You need to talk to him. And I was like, well, what's going on? He's like, he's crying because he's afraid of dying. 
And so my son was like crazy crying because he was like, I'm afraid of dying. He, and, and he was only maybe about nine or, or 10 years old. And I was like, oh my God, you know, like I've never thought about that. I've always been fearless. Mm. And it's crazy yeah. because I, you know, growing up with boys, I was just like that, you know? Yeah. And, but I, I had this talk with my mom and I'm like, I would be okay if I was to die, I would be okay with it. <laughs> like, no, seriously. Like if I was to yeah. know, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like if I was just hurt here, I have you walked in. <laughs> She's like, but you know what I'm saying? Like, if you have cancer oh, or whatever, man, you genius. know, it's like I would be okay. Like, I I would be fine with it because I yeah. don't know. I don't. I don't fear. I don't fear death. So. I don't. I I th I think a lot of people go around with their lives being so concerned with dying, and that it affects. I mean, I guess they're so afraid of dying they're not really living exactly you know what i mean exactly yes so i that's why i kind of say you know bucket list thing it's like i i think i don't know if i told the story i i um you know those helicopters a little kit they look like kit helicopters you can put together in your garage mm -hmm. the little teeny ones yeah mm -hmm. one person. I, I remember looking never say never i've learned that that's something i've, I've recently learned and i had a truck stolen in I oregon okay and i used to look up there and say i'm never getting one of those helicopters well i ended up renting one for an hour Did you fly? Uh, i've got up in this four seater helicopter with mm -hmm. no doors on it Ooh, that's and cool we flew around central oregon all uh, over the woods looking at the homeless encampments looking for my truck wow and you know i thought i'm never getting one of those things did you, know? you find it no we didn't find it <laughs> but at least you but, got the right but the it was a bucket list yeah. and, I, and I, I i realized something from that experience okay i lost a lot of money with my truck but i also gained that something that has yes. more value than yeah. anything I could put materialistic in. Yeah. It, you know what I mean? So, mm -hmm. yeah, that I I, I want to live my life because I'm going to die. Right. At one point. You're just so, trying to get the most as yeah. you can. So and have fun and time to do try it. to be a good person. And if you don't want to be a good person, don't be one. But I want to live. Yeah. yeah. You know? And that's what I admire about Melon. Because Melon, she fucking lives. Yeah. Like, this girl travels. She's always out. And I'm just like, man like i can't wait to be there one day like i that's yeah. what i want yeah well i almost died so therefore my mind is yeah. different yeah from a um blood clots in my lungs so mm. oh, my geez. mindset is totally different i lost a lot of people young so that's why i just live life to the fullest yeah and i think everybody should live life to the right. fullest do what you want to do and enjoy doing it that's right mm, that's what i have to say to that you good this is some good stuff you yeah. know this is some good Info like, and I know a lot of people fear dying. If yes, if a, if there's substance in conversation, I'm all about it. I love it too, and I, 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 I get, yeah, it's, it's interesting because I can learn from everybody. Totally, I and know? I love conversing like different type of you know subjects, and you know you learn. You, yeah. I learn off of Chris. I'm learning off of Tuna. I'm learning off of Melon. You know, we all learn. You know, yeah. and um, but yeah, I think we're gonna have to do this again. What do you think, guys? Yeah, yeah okay. I agree. All right. I'm okay with it. So we're going to wrap it up for tonight, guys. Thank you so much um, for viewing. I hope you guys had a great uh, Labor Day weekend. And um, for all you guys on um, on TikTok, TikTok, thank you so much for viewing us live. I hope all you right. guys enjoy. Make sure you guys subscribe. Let Loose With Lou on YouTube. And please do me a favor, guys. If you guys enjoyed this live, you know, Please let me know and we'll do it on the next one. Thank you so much, everyone. Thank you all for joining us. Have a good one. Bye. Right. Bye. Bye.